SPF concludes testimony, defense rests case. M width equals 2560 height equals 11920 class equals align on WP image 124,429 size full SRC equals HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 10 slash 16 million 987 thousand 752 10 M 5475 scaled JPEG all equals SRC set equals HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 10 slash 16 million 987 thousand 752 10 M 5475 scaled JPEG 2562 HTTPS Slash slash crypto news. Com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 10 slash 16 million 987 thousand 752 10 m 5475 dash 300 x 225. JPEG 300 wa HTTPS slash slash crypto news. Com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 10 slash 16 million 987 thousand 752 10 m 5475 10 24 x 768. JPEG 1924 HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 10 slash 16 million 987 thousand 752 10 m 5475 dash 768 x 576 JPEG 768 wa HTTPS slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 10 slash 16 million 987 thousand 752 10 m 5475 dash 1536 x 1152 jpeg 1536 wa https slash slash crypto news com slash WP content slash upload slash 2023 slash 10 slash 16 million 987 thousand 752 10 m 5475 dash 2048 x 1536 JPEG 2048 with sizes equals max width 2506 tips 100 wa 2506 tips slash FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried completed his grueling three-day testimony in Manhattan Federal Court on Tuesday being careful with his word choice Bankman Fried faced intense questioning from U.S. Assistant Attorney Daniel Sassoon regarding his role in FTX's demise, SBF's potential corruption with members of the Bahamian government. Sassoon began her cross-examination of the defendant by scrutinizing his cozy relationship with members of the Bahamian government, including Prime Minister Philip Davis. Sassoon pressed Bankman Fried on his alleged offer to pay off the Bahamas' $11 billion debt, to which the defendant stated he could not recall. Moreover, the prosecution revealed that Davis and his wife were given courtside seats at FTX Arena in Miami. The prosecution then showed the jury a message from a group chat Bankman Fried was a part of referring to former CEO of FTX Digital Markets, Ryan Salim, as essentially a member of the Bahamian government. Shortly after, a clip of former U.S. President Bill Clinton and Bankman Fried with Davis and former U.K. Prime Minister Tony Blair at a private dinner in April of 2022 was played for the court. Also in attendance was singer Katy Perry and actor Russell Bloom, whom Bankman Fried had previously attended the Super Bowl with alongside Michael Kives, the founder of Bankman Fried bankroll venture capital firm K5 Global. Sassoon then presented an email from Bankman Fried where the disgraced founder claimed he would be more than happy to open up withdrawals for Bahamian customers despite closing withdrawals following FTX's collapse. Bankman Fried continued that he briefly allowed for the exchange to give Bahamian customers priority access to withdraw these funds. I don't recall. The disgraced king of crypto continued to fail to provide details regarding potentially incriminating information during his time on the stand, often curtly stating, I don't recall when asked questions regarding his time running FTX. At one point, Bankman Fried acknowledged that numerous of his multi-million and billion dollar venture investments were not, in fact, margin trades following his testimony that were paying third-party lenders with money from FTX's exchange could be considered as such yesterday. Judge Kaplan, who previously described Bankman Fried as having an interesting way in regards to responding to questions, was clearly frustrated by the defendant's unresponsiveness. At one point, Judge Kaplan demanded Mr. Bankman Fried just answer the question. Bankman Fried knew of FTX executives' guilt before he was charged. In a final striking moment for the defense, Sassoon brought up evidence suggesting he knew FTX's former director of engineering, Nishid Singh, was guilty in the fraud scheme despite he himself denying any wrongdoing. Pulling notes from Bankman Fried's Google account, Sassoon revealed a document wherein the FTX founder wrote, Nishid, no plea deal, nothing. They'll do it whenever they get past whatever the blocker is. You wrote that, Sassoon asked. I think so, Bankman Fried replied. 
Closing arguments will be presented tomorrow morning with the jury set to begin deliberations shortly after. If convicted, Bankman Fried faces what could be the rest of his life in prison. Enter your email for our free daily newsletter or a quick three man read about today's crypto news. Sign up in src equals https slash slash simg co slash p slash ml 300 jpeg all equals image class equals mg equals newsletter pop up in.